This time, we're going to go over one of the most important techniques in low temperature work, using Indian wire to make cryogenic seals. There is nothing more infuriating than having to call off a low temperature run because of an Indian seal that has not been made properly. The procedure is really quite straightforward and starts with cleaning both flanges and the Indian wire itself. You'll want to use gloves for this procedure to stop finger grease getting on the seal and heavy metal getting on your hands. Remove any Indian that's stuck to the seal flanges with a cocktail stick or wooden spatula. Polish any residue with a silver polishing pad. Clean with a paper towel moistened with ethanol and allow to dry. Do both surfaces of the flange. You can clean the Indian wire by gently pulling through a paper towel moistened with ethanol. Don't hold it too tightly or you'll break the wire. Having cleaned everything thoroughly, the next stage is to fit the wire and create the wire crossover joint. A sensibly designed flange will give the lower flange a lip so that you're not having to fight gravity. Run your fingers around the seal to tighten the indium against the lip. Then, twist up the crossover region so that it is tight against the inner lip. You can give it a couple of twists. Then, with a flat metal object, pre-compress this region so that it is the same thickness as the rest of the wire. With the Indian wire in position, the flanges are offered up to one another. Usually, this is the vacuum can to the cryogenic insert. Ideally, these should be hanging vertically, so there are no sideways forces on the flanges as you're tightening them up. Here, we're using stainless steel bolts with molybdenum washers so that the seal tightens as it cools. Tighten the bolts in opposition until about one-eighth of a turn of plastic deformation can be felt. Then, move on to the opposite screw. Keep tightening the bolts in opposition until one-eighth turn of deformation cannot be felt. For the final circuit, go around the flange in order, tightening the bolts by about one-sixteenth of a turn until no further deformation can be felt. Allow the indium seal to relax for ten minutes, then go around the flange in order, retightening all the bolts. Well that's your indium seal fully made up and ready for cooling. When it's time to open the indium seal, a well designed indium seal flange will have extra tapped holes to allow the seal to be opened in a controlled manner. A good indium wire seal will have the indium compressed to a strip approximately two to three times its original diameter. Well, that's our recommended procedure for making up indium seals. So, um, with that, good luck. CMR, Condensed Matter Resources. Laboratory Essentials Direct.